Hey everyone, this once ugly house has got a facelift and it's looking lovely. I'm going to show you the entire transformation inside and out. And as usual, I'll spill the beans on the numbers. So if you're interested, don't miss it. On the front yard landscaping, we got rid of the boxwood hedge that was incomplete so we could review this front area. And we also removed the large shrub that was covering a lot of the house. We installed artificial turf and some rocks and plants to add some design element. The exterior of the home didn't look that appealing, partially because the second story was added on later and there were some small windows. So during our renovation, we replaced those windows with much bigger windows to make the entire home look more consistent. We also replaced some single pane windows on the lower level and freshly painted the exterior. It was quite challenging to choose the right paint color because of the red roof, but I think I managed it okay and the house looks a lot more refreshed. Now welcome inside this like new home. On your left side is the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Straight ahead are stairs going upstairs, and on the right side are some bedrooms and bathrooms. The biggest change in this living space is the removal of the fireplace wall. It was a little expensive and challenging, but for this price point, we decided that it was necessary and it did improve the flow of this home dramatically. On the living room, we replaced the single light fixture with multiple recess lights, so the ambiance improved a lot. We also removed the green pad on the flooring and refinished the hardwood floors on this entire level with a clear coat to bring out the natural wood finish. With the removal of the fireplace, the dining room area is huge now and I picked this new chandelier that's really interesting and creates a great focal point for this entire area. The original kitchen was so dated and we revamped it with two-toned cabinets, new appliances, and new hardwood floors that matches with existing hardwood floors. In higher-end homes like this one, I like to bring the countertops all the way up onto the backsplash as well to create a seamless and dramatic look. I really like the pendant lights over the island because they are a nice blend of black and gold and they tie in the hardware inside the home perfectly. If you're interested in flipping houses and making big profits like I do, join my coaching program, Transform Flipper Academy. That's where I teach my students the ins and outs about house flipping and also help them achieve financial freedom. If you're interested, don't think any longer, join today. This little seating area had chunky furniture before, but my stager was able to add a little library and make it a really cute space. Off of this seating area, there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms on this level. And this first bedroom is of a compact size and it was blue all over and we repainted it, added the ceiling light, replaced the window and also refinished the hardwood floors. The other bedroom on this main level also had a blue theme going on and we completely changed it with new paint, new window, new interior doors and refinished hardwood floors. This ensuite bathroom had a lot of change because there wasn't a door here and straight ahead was a little makeup area that was outside of the bathroom. And in the bathroom, there was a small vanity and a small shower. So we moved things around and combined the makeup area with the vanity to make it a much larger vanity for bigger counter space. 
and we were also able to fit a full-size shower in here to add a lot of functionality. I really like this vanity because it's a very sleek floating vanity and it's also wood toned which is very trendy right now and um, the thick countertops also make it look very high-end. The hallway bathroom is not big but it got a fresh makeover from the shower tiles to the vanity to the light fixture and the mirror everything is new and everything makes it a lot more modern than before for the stairs leading upstairs i was going to replace the pony walls with new metal railings but it would cost a lot of money so i had to give up that idea but we did replace the carpet with new flooring on the steps and it really created a modern look. We also replaced the track light with a new chandelier that has multiple bulbs. It looks very dynamic and pretty. This first bedroom upstairs is huge. We already have a bed set up here and a little play area set up over there and I can see a lot of options for the next buyer. The primary bedroom upstairs is such a dream. It's got so much space, it has vaulted ceilings and it's filled with natural light. You don't have to turn on any lights during the day. And in here, we didn't do a lot of work on this room itself which is put in the new recess lights, new window, and new flooring. But we did enlarge the walk-in closet here. Now this closet is enormous. It's bigger than the closet I have at home and I'm so jealous. We put in this large window here to enhance the curb appeal. And if the next owner doesn't like the clear glass, they could put a film over it or blinds and it would still offer a lot of good natural light. The ensuite bathroom got a complete makeover. There was a vanity around the corner and a closet that was taking up a lot of space. We got it all and reconfigured the entire space to fit in this large dual vanity, a freestanding tub, and a full-size shower. This is probably one of the biggest vanity I've ever put in a home, and it's really stylish. I love that it's floating and it has a lot of drawers and cabinets and it also offers a ton of counter space. And we pair it with very sleek mirrors with a thin profile and the light fixtures that are very decorative. A freestanding tub is an essential item for a spa-like bathroom and this one is really nice because we use a seashell chandelier to decorate the top and create this full package. And on the shower here, we have some marble looking tiles and on the bathroom flooring, we have a little contrast with darker tiles. In the backyard, we ended up having to replace the lawn because the grass was full of weeds. We also added these planter boxes because growing your own vegetables is such an appealing idea. And towards the end, we added the putting green, which would be a big hit for adults and kids. If you've seen the before video, you probably don't recognize the interior anymore because there was not a surface that wasn't touched. The color palette changed from yellow and brown to neutral cream and wood, and it flows so beautifully. I really like this floor plan because there are two bedrooms, including a primary suite on each level, which makes it ideal for multi-generational living or hosting guests. I'm also proud of the changes we made to the two ensuite bathrooms that made the space way more optimized and efficient. 
I know you are probably curious about the numbers. I'm going to spill the beans right after this walkthrough. Don't go anywhere. Now you've seen this entire renovation, let's talk about the numbers. I purchased this home for around $2 million and we put almost $200,000 into the renovation. The resale price was $2.6 million and the profit is about $250,000. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. See you next time two-toned cabinets, new appliances, and new hardwood floors. Black and gold, so it brings all the hardware in the home together. It's of a compact size, but still that has multiple bulbs and it looks very and it has vaulted ceilings and it, it's filled with natural light. We didn't have to do much work in here other than, sorry.